Griffin Colapinto taking on Michelle Perez here. Michelle, already a title here at Pipe to his name. He's looked in rhythm. He's improving heat after heat. Colapinto's got that youthful energy on his side, and boy, he sent it on some crazy ones that no one really wants to be a part of here at Pipe and Backdoor on the scariest days. But also that Olympic spot, the reason why John came back is now yet to be decided. And Kelly needs to go all the way to clinch it. Driving through a cave at back door, oh. getting clipped is Michelle Perez. In the first attempt to put up a number in this heat. That was an almost make right there. Fortunate for Michelle Perez. Colapinto swings on his first, a pipe wave, letting him out. He'll look back to celebrate, knowing how tough it's been to find a completion. Advantage Colapinto. 23 minutes to go. Exactly what he needs to do. Griffin slides in nicely. Great technique. Draws that high line. It comes up and over that foam ball. Great stuff there from Griffin. I love that rail grab sliding straight into it. Gives him that extra point of contact on the board. Comes out nice and clean. See how he's like using that hand to hold on the board. Then he's using his other hand to keep in touch with the face of the wave. As that thing crumbles, you can see him getting higher and higher on the wave. And then what's that going to do is going to give him a little bit of an easy exit up and over that foam ball, which he just did there. A little bit of a bucking bronco as he comes flying out of that tube. So great stuff there from the young Californian. Called the Pinto swung for this thing, Potts. Yeah, you know what? An interesting wave. Underneath priority, sneaks under the hood. Um, just a small score there, Joe, uh, 0 0.77. Needs to get a score on the board. Looks like Michelle likes to look at this thing. Head down, eye on the prize for Tahiti. Makes it. You can tell as soon as he commits how powerful that stance is. Nothing's going to take him down. His best score so far, 5.95, gets him the lead off Griffin. Look at this here. Michelle Barrett slides in beautifully. Little bonus section at the end there. Fights his way out, but I love the takeoff. Literally upside down as he stands up. That was a very critical drop from Michelle Perez. This is what it's all about right here, right now. Michelle Perez having a look at this one. It's going to be a late one. Michelle straight down to the bottom, super deep in pipeline. Michelle looking for an incredible exit. Not going to happen on that effort. It was so critical. Griffin's turn. Hanging on to that rail and trying to burn some speed. Just a quick one. And he'll try to regain priority. Michelle Perez had to come out of that. It would have been a 10-point run. Let's have a look at Griffin's first. Slides in. Would love to have gotten a bit deeper on that occasion. So with priority, he's having a look at this one, Joe. Super deep. Oh. Griffin under the hood. What? On a radical attempt. Oh, my goodness. That looked impossible. That was total commitment there from Griffin. Michelle looking to oh. answer. And another big wipeout. As the Spartan slides out. Back-to-back -back beatings here in the fourth quarter final. Jessman, in this matchup, what's your take of the criteria at the moment? Well, I did make a visit up to the judging uh, tower just to have a word with Potomo. You know, nothing's really changed as far as how this morning was looked at. I mean, we have elements of that judging criteria that is actually part of the entire season. Priorities with Michelle Perez, 2.10 to go. Takes off ultra deep in pipeline. Does he have a chance? And it looks like that'll stretch off down on the soundbar. Member needs a 2-3-4. Michelle with the high single score of a 7-5. 30 seconds. Griffin forced to use his priority. Backhand throw tail reversing complete. Now priority with Michelle for 25 seconds to go. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything, Joe. You've got Perez. five seconds and there's a little wave. Needs a 2-3-4, and that's not going to do it. Big congratulations to Kelly Slater, your 2019 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing Champion. As you see the heartbreak there, chasing a small two-ranger, Cola Pinto gets the win.